Parking meter mess up has folks in one town a little hot under the collar. They say meters downtown have been eating their change. News 8's Josh Scheinbloom reports from our Middletown newsroom with more on what local officials now plan to do about it. If you've re recently gotten a ticket for an expired parking meter in Middletown, it might not be your fault. There's so much to do on Main Street in Middletown. I love walking around, going to the restaurants, the stores. But to experience it, you'll have to end up parking somewhere. We don't come here often, but when we do, we always park on Main Street. And that means paying the meter. You put in your money in the machine and you go about your day. It's a simple process, or so you'd think. In this case, it's just a complete failure. For the last two years, the city of Middletown has been using a system that has used sensors to be able to tell whether or not a car was in its spot. That way, when a car pulled out, they could reset the meter back down to zero. At least that's how it was supposed to work, in theory. Unfortunately, what the pucks were doing was resetting the meters uh, randomly, taking away people's legitimately purchased um, per time on the meter. Gene Thazimpalith is the director of parking for the city of Middletown, of and he says there's no way to know how much money consumers lost because of the faulty parking system. Unfortunately, I don't have a barometer of that. Uh, a lot of what we were able to do is piece together b based on individuals coming in that did realize that, hey, I put money in the meter and yet I got a parking ticket. It's something that immediately we voided those particular tickets, but there's no way that we can tell that there haven't been other people out there that paid the ticket and never realized that, uh, that this occurred to them. And that's not sitting well with those who park on Main Street. It's just another way to get money from us, the poor consumers. That's too bad. The city, however, is trying to fix the way people pay. On Monday, they turned off the sensors and are now using the meters the traditional way. The time on the clock doesn't run out if someone pulls out of a spot. This is a classic story of sometimes the old-fashioned way of doing something is the better way of doing it. Now, the city of Middletown estimates that by going back to the old system, they'll actually lose some $12,000 in revenue every single year. On top of that, they are trying to do their part to give back to the consumer. They're going to be giving away some 10 free minutes on every time someone purchases some time on the parking meter. For now, we're live in the Middletown newsroom at the Middletown Press. Josh Scheinblum, News 8.